Blessings, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a lifestyle. And Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the people of God together say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is April the 27th of the year 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, where we are told to be sober, which means alert, watchful, to be vigilant, to be awake, to be keeping an eye out for. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Now, there's a couple of points I want to touch on this morning. But the first I want you to understand is that the devil is walking about the earth, roaming to and fro, seeking someone to devour. Why does he do this? He has to do this. He is not omnipresent. He is not like Jehovah. He cannot be all places at one time. He can only be one place at a time. And so it's interesting. Now, of course, he has minions who work on his behalf and he delegates authority to. And so they can harass us uh, in our Christian walk. But the main focus this morning, and what I really want you to understand is that the curse was placed upon the flesh in the garden when Adam and Eve sinned and rebelled and defied God's rule and order and did what they chose to do. In that moment, their eyes were opened. We know that because they ran and hid for the first time. And so their eyes were open to things that they had never been aware of before. And when Yahweh comes down and he punishes them for their act of disobedience, he curses them. And the curse is placed upon the flesh. That's why we're told that we're to crucify the flesh daily. Because every day when we wake up, the same flesh that we defeated yesterday is alive and thriving and ready to attack again. And so in today's Christian environment, especially among the charismatics and maybe even the Pentecostals, we see a lot of casting out demons. But when we go to the Bible to look for these things, we don't see evidence of such things. We don't see Paul casting out a demon every time he turned around and the flesh harassed him. The Bible even tells us that Paul was given a thorn in the flesh, something that would harass him on a daily basis. And he couldn't just cast it out because it's it's implanted within the flesh. It's where our battle lies. And so our flesh is going to crave things that are against the ways of God. And we see examples of this throughout the Bible with laziness and gluttony and greed and lust of different kinds, uh, the desire for money, the desire for fame, fortune, success, self-preservation, self-reliance, self-happiness. And so the point is, it's not as if Satan is, or one of his minions is hiding around every corner to attack us and shoot a fiery dart at us. His work was done long ago, and he can kind of just sit back and watch us destroy ourselves because instead of standing at alert, attention, like our text says, being sober and vigilant, we become very lazy and apathetic, and like a cancer, we just allow the the curse that lies within us to eat away anything that is good, anything that has potential. And of course, the opposite of all of these things are discipline, effort, sacrifice, and the transformation as of our mind. As we're told in Romans chapter 12, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world. Why? Because this world just goes with the flow. Often the Christian life is represented as a fish swimming upstream. That takes an extreme amount of effort and dedication. Everyone else is just flowing with the current. And that requires no effort at all. And that's what we're talking about. Because the curse that's placed within the flesh, there is no effort. 
I mean, there's no effort to wake up each day and just satisfy the flesh all the day long. Drugs and alcohol and womanizing and feeding your mind the poisonous, dangerous things that come from social media and movies and a lot of what, most of what is on TV nowadays, certainly what is in music, that doesn't require any effort. The effort comes when we abstain from these things, when we fight against these things, because the natural tendency, the curse placed within us, is just to do what comes so naturally. So each and every day when you wake up, know that you're waking up with your feet on the battle line. And you can either fight against your adversary who placed this curse within you so long ago, crucify your flesh as your Messiah has told you to do, or you can simply walk through this life at ease and face the consequences at a later time. That should signify to you that you are ready to place your feet on the battle line. You're ready to stand up. You're ready to fight. And for that, I'm thankful, friends. So I pray that as you do fight today, that you'll remember Messiah goes before you. The, the battle was won a long time ago. All you must do is walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. That's where the victory lies, friends. Remember what we're told in Hosea chapter 11, verse 7. We are bent toward backsliding. It, that's what Yahweh says. He says, my people are bent toward backsliding. Why? Because it's naturally in the flesh to do what we want to do. And we have to fight and struggle and discipline ourselves and sacrifice much in order to follow the ways of God. Set our mind on things above, not on things of the earth. I hope this has been an encouraging reminder to you to help you in the battle. Know that I'm praying for you. I'm lifting you up to the Father, friends. I love you, and I'm here if you need me. I would like to start a question and answer. So if you have any questions that you would like me to directly address, feel free to leave the question in the comment box, and I'll make sure that I, I, I produce a video on that specific topic in order to answer your question. Now, I love you, friends, as Yahweh wills, and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the next video. But because you are here...